Good day and welcome to your next F F6 Express recording. I would have thought by now I would have had that down, but I still get stuck on it. Um, our next port of call is the taxation of companies and closed corporations. I've included closed corporations, although we don't have any new closed corporations which can be registered. All our old closed corporations are still in the system, so we need to have a means of taxing them. Uh, we look at the definition of company and it says South African companies, public entities, cooperative, foreign companies, a portfolio of collective investment schemes, South African charities, and last but not least, a closed corporation. The financial year, unlike individuals, a company is allowed to have a financial year that correlates with their year of assessment. So if the financial year of the company is the 1st of January to the end of December, so that will be the year of assessment. Tax liability, unlike natural persons and unlike partnerships, a company is eligible to pay tax. They are, however, allowed a whole lot more deductions than individuals are or natural persons are. All those section 11, 12s and 13s that we did. But please remember that a company is not entitled to rebates enjoyed by natural persons, nor are they entitled to interest exemptions. Specified date and specified period. Specified date is defined as the last day of the year of assessment. And specified period is the period running from the end of the last specified period to six months after the specified date. Section 20, which we touched on before and we will see again, is an assessed loss. And an assessed loss can be set off against income earned from trade by that company. You can carry over any excess as long as the company has traded for at least one day of the year. The way we tax a company of, at a flat rate of 28%, a company pays tax from the first rand of taxable income received, no entitlement to any rebates except a foreign tax rebate, which you will do in P6 if you do choose that. A company is a provisional taxpayer and, and, and must be represented by a public officer who is known as the representative taxpayer. And up to the 30th of March 2012, a company was liable for secondary taxation on companies at a rate of 10%. Rates applicable to other companies. If you have a company with an effective management outside South Africa, you will pay a normal tax of 33% with no SDC. Labor brokers or personal services companies pay a rate of 33%. And if you're a small business corporation, there is a different structure. Closed corporations are taxed at the flat rate of 28%, are provisional taxpayers and are regarded as private companies. The member of a closed corporation is a shareholder and any dividends received or any distributions received by the closed corporation to a member will be exempt in their hands. Dividends. Although certain dividends are exempt, that is all dividends from South African companies in the hands of recipients, the declaration of a dividend may result in a liability for secondary tax on companies in the company declaring the dividend. Non-resident companies are not liable for STC and a company is only liable for STC when they declare a dividend. 
uh, we will need to define what we call a dividend cycle and it is the period that commences immediately after the company's previous dividend cycle ends and ends on the date on which that dividend accrues to the shareholder concerned. Uh, that is it for companies, close corporations, dividends. Please remember we did small business entities in section 12. I think it falls under section 12e so please go back and refresh your memory on that. Um, that's the end of this one. Thank you. See you at the next recording. Bye.